Hi there, I'm Dan Bernardo and this is Jonathan Martin and we're from Rose Costumes. Today we're going to be showing you how to put on our Cogsworth costume from our Beauty and the Beast selection. Now first things first, make sure your actor has the trousers and the shirt on for the costume. Also be sure that you tuck the shirt in properly. You'll notice there are a set of snaps right here as well as a little toggle style button to close up at the neck. Be sure those are fixed properly as well. There's some Velcro right here on the shoulders. This is going to be important for our next step. Next, we put on the clock body. It's a big tabard, poncho kind of structure, decorated and embellished like a clock. You'll see underneath this two sets of Velcro right here are the same underneath here, meant to line up with the shirt. You want to make sure that both lines of Velcro are there on lined up with the ones on the shirt. Keeps it more secure, keeps it from falling off. Yep, this needs to get moved a bit. And you also want to try to get this as close up to the neckline as possible. You can see a little extra Velcro for people with wide shoulders, but get it as close to the actor's neck as possible. Good, good. Now to give it more structure than just hanging forward, we have panels that go in the sides. You can see them right here, if you could be so kind. You can see the shape of it and a bit of Velcro on either end here are meant to fit this strip up at the Velcro on the inside of Cogsworth. You can see right there on the tabard, these pieces lock into place. up a bit more, pinch it together to lock it, and you can see a very obvious box shape taking place now. Thank you. Again, make sure you have this side up. This side is slightly shorter than this side, so it gives it that right tapered feeling. See. All right, turn about. Beginning to see a proper clock body taking shape on it. Next piece will be the key. You can see on the back of the costume, strip of Velcro and a point right there. That is your guide to line up the key with the back. It'll sit right there securely. We also have another set of embellishments, a pair of epaulets. The decorative side will go outward and line up right there and there. Now let's pop these a little higher up. There we go. There's also a drawstring in the back here to bring the shoulders together should your actor be a bit on the thin side. Let's give a quick pull there. That helps the shoulders fit considerably better. You can see that right there. Next piece we have will be the collar. Simple Velcro construction that fits right across and locks into place. I usually move these around or you can even put them underneath depend on the look you're going for. Be certain that you'll be changing this width depending on the neck size of your actor. So you'll have to adjust that accordingly. The main part is to keep these buttons running straight down the center. Now a piece I'd like to show you but it will be a lot easier to show you this way. We have a pair of shoe buckles to go with any shoes the actor will be wearing. You can simply see an elastic band to go right around a shoe like this. So even with the trousers, should you have any foot movement that reveals the feet, they'll have a proper shoe buckle covering over, adding to the costume. Finally, the last piece, last thing we have is going to be Cogsworth's hat. 
You can see the wooden structure here and here along the side. We put it like a bicorn right over top of him like that. And the illusion's complete. Once again, I'm Dan Bernardo. This is Jonathan Martin, and we're with Rose Costumes. Thank you for watching our video.